Hi guys, welcome back. So recently I've been having a bit of a shuffle in my garage, moving a few things around, tidying it up, getting rid of some crap. And I've kind of decided I need a bigger workbench. So this week I'm going to be making a workbench and showing you how I did it. Amongst all my rubbish, I do have some half decent box section laying around. Now this is quite old and a little bit rusty. But it's decent stuff and it'll be perfectly good for this workbench. First job is to square off this cup. I'm going to use a set square and a Stanley knife or utility knife. This way you get a really precise sharp line. And it's good for making sure you stay nice and true when you cut. I'm now going to cut it to 236 centimetres. So again, again, I'm going to mark and cut. Beautiful. So I've marked the next piece and these are going to be the horizontals. All cut and ready to go. Now you've probably noticed this is quite rusty. And my plan is to take them outside, put them in the vise, and go over them with the belt sander. Yeah, I picked up this absolute bargain of the uh, vise the other day. It's a genuine English record vise, probably about 50 years old. Built really well. Um, so for now, I've just screwed it to the sawhorse, and it's going to be perfect for holding the box section while I sand it. Well, that took longer than I was expecting. <laughs> Next job is to cut the right angle at 59 centimeter sections. So this is gonna incorporate the top horizontals. So the next job is to weld it all together. legs are cut and the first one is welded on so that took a while but these legs are all cut and cleaned up now literally just need to weld them on like so now I'm not too worried about bracing it too much purely for the fact the bench is actually going to be screwed against the wall so these are going to support it but they're not going to do all the work if you know what I mean Perfect. Well, perfect dish. Beautiful. God, I'm good at this. Perfect. Disclaimer, I'm not perfect at this, nor am I good. I, I'm just very lucky. So we now have a very basic table frame. Please excuse the mess, it will get better, I promise. Next up is a bit of bracing. So I'm gonna put a brace across here. Yeah, maybe a brace across the sides. And I plan to make a little shelf for my TIG weld to sit on as well. For the top, I'm gonna to use a bit of old worktop which I have laying around. It's nice and strong, does the job really well. And then a bit of it's gonna be covered in steel sheet. That's the plan. So I've just cut this brace, I'm just going to weld it in, and yes, that is a fuel tank on the floor. Wish me luck. Beautiful. 
beautiful. So I've cut these pieces, I've cleaned them up. They're gonna literally weld onto the edge here. They're gonna go horizontally across. These are gonna be vertical. And the plan is I can make a little shelf for my TIG welder. So it's gonna sit on perfectly, out the way, tucked up, nice and safe, nice and strong. And it So that's the right side of the shelf finished and welded into place and the left side welded in. So as you can see the framework's all complete now. Now it's time to give it a really good clean up and a prime and paint. Right the frame is now painted and it's now time to cut the works off. Now these are just off cuts of crap old works up um they're in not the best condition but for a workbench it's perfect now all i'd say is if you're going to use a circular saw you want a nice edge to run down so i'm using this aluminium um spirit level and i'm setting it so it's 100 percent square using the big set square and some clamps that way i know it's going to be absolutely perfect and it'll do a nice cut another top tip you want to set your blade so it only just goes through the material if you have it go through too far, it can make it wander a little bit and it's hard to control. Hope you can see that's a really nice, perfect cut. Hardly any splintering. Now, I'm not overly bothered about the old silicon. I'll scrape most of it off. At, at the end of the day, it's a workbench. It's in the garage. It's not my kitchen, but it's a nice solid worktop. It's going to do the job perfectly. So I've just realized this was a previous cut. I didn't do that. The worktop came like that. It's not actually square. It's slightly out. So for this to put up nicely, it's not going to happen. So I'm just going to cut the end of this off, which will get rid of the silicon line because I've got a bit of a wiggle room at that end. And that'll make it much nicer. Once again, safety glasses on, chipboard's quite nasty. If you get some in your eye, you might have tripped away in there. You don't want that. Nice and square. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to put this back on now. Last cut on this end. Bit of emery cloth, clean the edge up. Bob's your uncle fan, he's your aunt. Nice end panel. Again, second hand, but does the job. I'm bloody knackered now. So here it is, it's finished bar. I need to put a bit of steel plate on the top and I need to make a little shelf for my TIG welder, which is gonna go there. Obviously I need to tidy the garage, have a bit of a shuffle. Then this can go against the wall, get screwed to the wall properly. It's obviously not staying here, but yeah, it's cost me about, I don't know, 30, 40 quid tops. The steel I got from the scrap man, um, the vice cost me £35, so yeah, for say 50 quid, a little bit of paint, absolute bargain, this was free, yeah, really chuffed. So if you like what you've seen, please remember to subscribe, comment and like, it really does make a big difference and I do really appreciate it. So once again, subscribe, comment and like, thanks guys and take care.